I just had the closest call I could have ever imagined. I'm getting Barney back in here in just a second. Preston logged on. If you saw the last video, at the end of us finishing up our underground base, it's not totally finished yet, but Preston jumped back in. Apparently he got out of his meeting and jumped back on. I saw his name moving, and as soon as I saw, I logged out. Just jumped off the server straight away, so hopefully he wouldn't find us. And then Preston was in his office for a little bit, and then he came into my office and asked me a couple questions about the server. He didn't tell me exactly what was going on, but he jumped in. Go ahead, I'm gonna just show you exactly, because I was still rolling the camera, I'm gonna show you exactly what he said. I hope you can hear it, because it's just this, uh, this, this, this microphone right here, but this is what it looked like. Yo, Keith, yo, have you been messing on the land Minecraft server at all? No. You sure? Yeah, 100%. Haven't done anything at all on the on any sort of land server. What do you mean? All right, you no, 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 it's not a big deal. Just forget I even asked. I gotta go hop in a meeting anyways. So you can see, obviously, it seems like Preston isn't sure what happened, but he could tell some of his supplies were gone that he had been working hard in order to get. He doesn't say exactly because I think he doesn't know if it was myself or Barney right now. And so he didn't want to give up that he has some sort of secret backup plan. We're still not 100% sure what he's using this for. But then he went back into his office for a second and then jumped into another meeting. And I thought, hey, what better to do than pull Barney back in and both of us to go see what Preston did because he seemed uh, a little concerned and slightly upset. So let me get Barney in here real fast. Barney. Yeah, Keith, look, man. <laughs> that was a close we, call. Whatever we do, we can't get caught for this, okay? Well, I don't think he thinks it's us. I mean, I don't, I think he like has an idea because I mean, it's someone in the office probably. Dude, if we get caught for this, this might be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Preston might be kicking us out. I don't want to get kicked out, but also Barney messing with Preston is one of my favorite activities. And on top of that, Barney, he clearly doesn't know that there's an underground base. Oh, yeah. Well, we're, dude, this is not our first underground base. We're seriously trained at the underground base double agent stuff. It took Preston like three weeks to find the last time we built a base under one of his. It took him like three weeks to find it finally. You can see that video on his channel. And then we ditched that and we caught up. I feel like, Barney, we're like one step ahead of Preston the entire time. Dude, he's so slow to catching on to this stuff. And I gotta I tell you, if he was smart enough, he wouldn't be leaving his secret base open for us to find out each time. That's true. But also, I don't think he thinks that we're thinking about him creating some sort of secret backup plan. Because right now, there's literally no reason for him to have this. He's playing the long game, Barney. He's playing the long game. And we're playing the even longer game. Boom! One up, Preston! One up. Also, Ten. though, Barney, he did bread your head. Yeah, Keith, okay. You know he what? wins on that front. On? You keep making fun of me about the bread head stuff. I don't know how to fix it. We're just going to stick with it. I can't go ask Preston how to fix it because then he'll know what's going on. Okay. But look okay. what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn all of his buckets Ooh, upside yeah, me. down. Wait a second, Barney. What? There's a ton of food missing from here. Not all of it, but a ton. Dang. Oh, well, the fish is still there. Is someone else here? Besides? Barney, all the coal and the slime balls are gone. Dude, is someone else here besides me and you? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, unless we're getting played by somebody. What if we're playing Preston at the same time somebody else is playing Preston? You Are you talking about a triple agent? There could be a triple agent, Barney. Wait a second. Unless it's you. Keith, that is the stupidest question you could ask a triple agent. Because if I was, I wouldn't tell you the truth. So now you're saying you're a triple agent? Wait, doesn't that just mean that you're pretending to play for my side, but you're also playing for Preston's side, except you're not actually playing for Preston? You're pretending to play for him as well, and therefore you're also ultimately just playing for me? Barney, I looked up triple agent. It says noun, triple agent, a spy who pretends to be a double agent for one side while he or she is actually a double agent for the other side. That means exactly what I said, Barney. means you're working for me, all right? You got to get it right, brother. 
Keith, you're talking about too many agents and you're making all the fuses in my brain blow out, okay? I can't what? comprehend this. I'm telling you right now, all I'm in it for is the diamonds. Barney, I'm just telling you what side you're on because you seem to be a little bit confuzzled about which team. This is beside the point, Barney. We gotta work together, all right? All right. We gotta overcome our differences because if we don't have any supplies, Barney, it means I'm gonna have to eat your head. Because your head's gonna be the only food we got left. No! My goodness gracious, oh, sing Keith! What? Don't touch my stuff. I've worked hard to gather these materials. <gasps> Barney, all the diamonds are gone too. No! And the diamond ore, and the diamond blocks. No, dude! The whole reason I'm in here, it's all gone. Barney, I knew your plan wasn't going to work. Splitting the stacks in half so he wouldn't notice. How did he find out so soon? Preston, Barney. It's Preston. He's basically Einstein number two. Dude, we were doing it so well, too. Every time we get caught because we steal his stuff, maybe next Most time we should just not take his stuff. Well, Barney, that means then we have to go out and earn it ourselves. You're right, you're right. That's silly. That's silly. I was uh, okay, let's just forget you said that. Almost all the it looks like he was in a rush, Barney. He got like the most important stuff like the diamonds. He he moved all of them. But some of the redstone it's still there. Yeah, some of the lapis is still there. He looks like he was in a rush to get it out because he had to get into that next sign. Whoever you are, get out. He Bree, is that you? Barney, he thinks it's Bree. I, I just came up with the 10 star idea. 10 star? Yeah, let's frame Bree. <laughs> Barney, I feel like Bree always gets in the middle of our dispute with Preston and she's just this kind little soul who shouldn't be involved in it at all. But we somehow just <laughs> vacuum her into the action. Look. I'm a good friend to Bree. It's just sometimes it's easier for her to get in trouble than it is for me to get in trouble. Fair enough. It is Preston's wife. He can't really get angry at her like he can get angry at us. Preston yep. can kick us out of the office. Can't kick Bree out. You True. can't kick Bree out. You got a ring on that finger, Preston. Dang, he was angry. Look at this yeah. sign. It's These are my hard-earned supplies. What Whoever found my base, get out. Wait, Barney, 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 Barney. Look at the way these signs have been positioned. Whoever found my base, get out. This is the entrance. He has no idea we're underneath his base. He was expecting whoever it was to come back from this side. The amount of anger. I don't even think if I tried as hard as I could. I don't think I could make a face that angry. I'm lightheaded, Barty. Keith, breathe. Breathe. Look, we need to get down to business, okay? I'm gonna go make some signs. Because I tell you what, man, this is got we got to put Bree on the hot seat here, man. This all is right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get into some action, Barney. I don't know how much time we have, though. There's a good chance as soon as he gets out of that meeting he's in, he's going to run back to his computer, Barney. So let's hurry up. We do have some diamonds here. Good thing is, oh, Barney. Right Take we some signs. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Signs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get back up. I think the first thing we should do, Barney, is destroy some of the signs that he's made. Yeah. Let's get rid of some of the signs that he's put in place. Oh, you know what we should do, Barney? Next to the Brie, is that you? Put a sign that says, yep. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, I'm getting <laughs> rid of these ones. Dude, I got a good idea. This is for all the anime you watch. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Because Brie hates it when Preston just watches anime on his days off and doesn't spend his time with her. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's gonna be so upset about this, Barney. Wait, okay, what's something else? What's something that cuts deep, Barney? Something that Bree's always like, Preston does this and I don't like it. Ooh, Eloise. We'll say, oh, Eloise is better than you. Oh, Keith, that's too far. Oh my gosh, Barney, it might be too far. It might be, but sometimes you gotta see how far you can go by going too far. I agree with that 100%. You know what I'm going to do, Barney? Is I'm going to put a sign right here in front of Preston that says, that's for tooting in the bed. Oh! 
Dude, this is for sure. He's going to think it was Bree. <laughs> oh, because Preston's never tooted in my bed. But he's definitely tooted in Bree's bed. That's for sure. Oh, my gosh. Get rid of this sign. Get rid of that. Uh, one more sign, Keith. Right in here by his bed. Oh, above his bed? This is the only bed you get to sleep in now? Barney, this is... This might be a bit much. Wait a second. He's got a computer? Dude, what is How this running like? Computer? This is like one running Windows 91, bro. Look at this thing. He can't play Minecraft on that, dude. That computer Can came out it? before Minecraft was made. Should we take it? No, no, no. Just the signs is enough, dude. Just the signs is enough. But we could take his computer and say, I'm taking your computer so you can't play video games and you have to hang out with me. Oh, okay. Plus, I want that computer in our base, Barney. I said, Barney, now you can't play games. You've got to hang out with me. Dude, oh. Keith, we did it good, bro. We did it good. Let's put one more sign at the beginning, Barney, that looks like we're coming from this side again and say, I'll visit whenever I want. And then we'll put this one here that says, take that, Preston. Oh my gosh. Wait, Barney. Yeah. Also, where? what is that noise coming from here? <laughs> Someone is working on the ceiling, dude. It is so loud. It sounds like a moaning tiger. I promise I'm not farting. Party starts tooting all over the place. Somebody's doing construction on the ceiling. <laughs> Barney, where do you think he put the supplies? That's what I was gonna say before you started farting everywhere. <laughs> dude, I don't know if we're gonna be able to find him, dude. I think he's done a really good job of hiding them. Oh, wait, he's got more law peas over here. Let's, okay, if we can't find the supplies, Barney, let's do one more sign that says, uh, right here, that says, I'll find where you, I'll find the supplies. Good, and did he take all the gunpowder? Yeah, I think he took all the gunpowder. Everything is gone, Barney. We have, I don't think there's any, all the important stuff I think he took. So the supplies that we had at the beginning, I think that's what we're with for now. We can dig deeper in our base, Barney, and search for more supplies. We'll have to do that before we jump on next time. But for now, let's get out of here before pressing it's back. I wasn't comfortable with how close the call was last time. Yeah, that was close, dude. And we got lucky he didn't see our name tags. Close it off, Barney. Nice. He didn't quite see us. I think it's because we were behind him. Plus, also, he wouldn't have been looking for him, Barney, when he first jumped in. He didn't have any idea anyone was there until right he saw that the supplies were missing. His nose. All right, Barney, let's sit down and watch some TV. Preston, you've been got. You thought you got us behind your supplies, but we already got the rations that we needed. And we've got a full dig site under here for more supplies whenever we need Preston. Good luck, buddy. But more importantly, good luck, Bree.